Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and we're here at Fantech Suite at CES 2016 looking at this massive case and then later in the video we'll be talking about some new smaller mid-tower cases. Before getting to these, all this content is brought to you by iBuyPower's Revolt 2 small form factor gaming PC. For this case, this is the Project 916. So this doesn't have a finalized name yet, some of the specs are subject to change but we can talk about the overview of how everything looks right now. As it is set up here, there's actually a mini ITX board installed, the complete system, on the top of the power supply shroud area. And then above that is your standard ATX install. So it's actually two systems in one. And this is a concept that Fantex has been doing since the Mini XL, which we looked at previously. It's a bit different than the Mini XL, but same idea in that you can fit two in one. It's also got two power supplies in one, and they have a new power splitter and power combo block that you basically plug all of your headers into for each power supply. You can split or combine them as appropriate. For the use cases for that, it's, it's pretty limited. People who are just building normal gaming systems may not need it, but on the render side, on the high-end production side, it gives some redundancy or combined power if you're trying to take two existing power supplies that you already own and combine them rather than buy a new larger one. As for the exterior, it's all five millimeter thick aluminum, and that's pretty heavy metal. We're not sure what the exact weight is, but it doesn't quite matter the size once you put it down, it's not going anywhere. So that's five millimeter thick aluminum. On the inside, it is currently in a 0.8 millimeter steel. It may change depending on how things go going forward. And then for the other cases on the opposite side here, we'll show some B-roll of those. There's the P400 and P400S, which is the silent edition. And those are mid-towers. They're more consumer targeted at the entry level budget area with $70 and $80 price points. The Shroud, the PSU does have a shroud, so it's similar in concept to the S340 in that regard, but the shroud, it, it extends all the way across. It's got the usual fan on the front, exhaust top, rear, and then there's actually a pre-installed LED in the front bottoms that can light sort of the, like an underglow neons car type of thing, and that has 10 colors that can be cycled through with a button on the top concealed under the top panel. So that is the Fantex suite. Hit the link in the description below for more information on the article and check out the rest of the channel for other CES 2016 coverage. I'll see you all next time.